Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. Today, 16 of the Lambing Vlogs and the first batch of ewes are coming to an end. I was about to say, we've only got 16 left to lamb to start the day. Well no, we've got 13 left because we have a ewe that's just popped one out there. We had another couple of ewes that had twins just over here. So she's just lambed. I've just penned her up quickly in the corner. She's just slammed because we don't want to get them all mixed up. It's been a bit of a crazy morning. I've just been off to go and get the ewe lambs in because they got out. Ever since we had that dog worrying thing the other day, they just keep going through the fence. So I've moved them. But yeah, we're going to get straight into action. These next couple of vlogs might be across a couple of days just because we've got a bit of a week gap until the bee fox start. That is all the crossbreds. Really, really excited to see them because it's the first time we've tried a Suffolk. So guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs> You're not meant to be down here, are you? It's normally your sister that escapes. It's not been the greatest morning, I'm not gonna lie. We have lost two ewes. Um, yeah, one is that one that had a really hard lambing, probably about a week ago, been treating with antibiotics uh, last night, she sadly passed away. And then there's one I've been treating for a while that's had a huge tooth abscess, doing all we could, but literally half an hour after that one, that one I found on the floor, and even better, I went to check the using lambs this morning and we found the dead lambs. So it's not been the greatest start of the day, but the sun is out and I'm feeling very positive. We have a problem. Yes. Right, girl. Let me grab that. Let it come, let it come, let it come, let it come. No, we need to flip it over. I would definitely not recommend lamb without a glove on, but um, I thought I could pull it when I go over for, got to it and there was a leg back, so yeah, should be okay. Hopefully you didn't ingest too much fluid. She'll lick it. She's a good mum. There you go. Get a for me. There you go. Yeah, head shake. Good sign. So now we just got to move them. So, um, just come to check the ewes, and we've got one with a water bag out. Just a water bag, so she's got nothing to worry about as of yet. So, I was fixing the lamb, but she's had one. Yeah, hello, she's licking though, so that's a good thing. You can probably hear that lamb. But because she's had this one, we're I'm gonna leave her so she can have the other one because she won't need my help as of yet. Now, when Will gets back, we've got to figure out ah. who this little monkey belongs to ah. because, ah. hello, I know they have ran ah. out of their pen. So, we need to figure out ah. who its mom is. Go on, three, two, one. Well done, Mum. Well done. Lick your lamb. Lick your lamb. Look. So I'm going to leave her here. Um, lick them. Make sure she takes them. She is. 
and then we'll tell the good news to Will for when he gets back. But it shouldn't be too long, but nothing else up here at the moment. Um, looks like it's gonna land. Right, I'm back. Robin has smashed it. She landed the ewe that is just there. Got a cracking set of twins. But we're gonna have a little bit of a move around to create some space. All the ones that have aborted are gonna go into the triplet pen, as well as the ewe that land the lambs. This is gonna have twins and singles in, so top shed's gonna be empty, ready for the beef lot to come in because there's a lot of singles there. Then we can just keep an eye on everything in one shed and we won't miss anything. Right, hopefully now we have a bucket. If I shake this, these ewes will follow me into that other shed. Go on, girls. Sadly, four, sorry, five of these to bought at the start. They'll eat the tailish too. In we go. So now it is time for the big reveal. We're going to take these ewes out of the adopters. Now, this might be slightly harder, we're going to attempt to get the ones that were boarded out of this group into that group. There is a little gap down there, so my plan is I'm going to run them through the sheep and out, uh, maybe tomorrow, the day after, and they can go in the field on their own. Just got a you here. She's been messing around for like an hour now. Just gonna feel, make sure she's a okay. Come on, Ami. Come on, Ami. You going? You going? There we go. There we go. There we go. Go to the Yes. Oh man, that was so tough. She is tight. That's why the lamb wasn't coming out. Cervix aren't quite open properly, an hour and a half in. Just needed that lamb out. Good girl. Good girl. Same again. Good girl. Good girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we are. Good girl. Push for me, girly. Push for me. Good girl. Come on. Push for me. Push girl. Good girl. Good girl. Man, that was so tough. I'm just gonna get her a, uh, just gonna get her a jag of Metacam. That was a tough one, in. Yeah, girly. She'll be in a bit of shock, but Give it five minutes, she'll be all right. Licking those lambs. Marvellous. We're bringing two home. <coughs> Their mums don't like them. 34, which has been outside a week. Also, mum doesn't like it. 132, that we parked yesterday, probably, I don't know, could have got lost. Um, yeah, their mums are lost. So, of course, they can come back. Unfortunately, I have to go on a bottle. Good evening and welcome to Cowley Hill Farm. His light is on and I think I can see too much detail. I'm definitely, I'm getting old. I'm in the thirties now for sure. <laughs> so we're here, turned out some lambs. My name is Carol. I'm a friend of Will's from Ireland and I'm holding the camera because Will is too busy working. He's flat out. He's drinking a can of Red Bull every two hours, lambing flat out and he's making daily videos for you guys. The effort that Will goes into, just so you guys can have your daily content as you're sitting down. Fair play to him. Let's get at it. If you haven't guessed already, we have special guests to the channel. How are things? <laughs> yeah. 
you come all the way to Ireland just to help me put the lamps out, haven't you? Yeah, we're no, Australia, here. Australia. Australia. Hey, gang, Matt. <laughs> I know we're Irish. I'm Carl. I'm from Ireland. Friend of Will. Also do the odd crap YouTube videos. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about my channel. Don't follow it. Don't subscribe. I'm here with my partner, Jazz. We're Famous just calling Instagrammer. In. Yeah. No, don't forget that bit. She's the influencer. I'm kind of like a, you know, like a golf caddy compared to a golf <laughs> golfer. That's kind of like what I am. <laughs> we're here and we're just here visiting Will, Will and Will is flat at work at the moment. So the only way you can bond and chat to a farmer when he's in the middle of lambing, you just get out and lamb with him. That's the way it is. For you ladies at home that have partners about the shade, if you want to talk to him, if you want to ask him how his day is or her day, just get out there. Just get out there and head back. So that's what we're doing at the moment. I think they call it lamb spam. <coughs> Cute, aren't they? Well, you brought the weather with you from Australia. <laughs> That's good. We yeah. needed this. Yeah. It's a bit cooler, but it's dry. That's oh, yeah. Literally, this field here, in this gateway, as you saw last week, this was underwater, but finally, a couple of days are dry, and then we're going to let these all mother up. We're going to push the use probably through today. Sorry, tomorrow, the day after, so we'll all be on this one then. Um, oh, they're looking well along. It's great grass. You wouldn't see it around our way even in June or July. <laughs> if at all, probably not at all. <laughs> yeah, all that river water has actually uh, probably helped the grass. Yeah, but it's great to see. It obviously means it's been a mild enough winter. Oh, like, yeah. It's a lovely fresh bike there. It's mad, like, we've hardly had a frost, yeah. which is probably part of the problem we have with other stuff, but yeah. you have to take what's good. That's it, that's it. Well, what a day we have had. I've just been feeding up, doing a nightly bottle feed, and we've got two, two used lambing. One over there, just got to head out, so I'm just going to get a glove because I don't think it's any legs. And we've got a bag out for the other use. But, whilst I've been feeding up, oh, I've done my back in. So, I am very much struggling currently. Um, hopefully it's better in the morning, but I'll get this um, you lambed. Then I'm going to leave you to it because, boy, it hurts. Another cracking pair of twins. Both of these are actually Bennett used, to be fair. That is one of the ones that was one of the top prices. Um, top price of sale at Welsh Pool this year. And this was one of the pens of the, so that's two, that was a one crop. This was two crop. So this would be her third lot of lambs. And this was a second, sorry, highest price third crop highest price sorry that was the highest price one crop highest price second crop so that's second and third crop makes sense right well i'm gonna finish feeding the cage so guys massive thank you for tuning in the last couple of days if you haven't already please go and check out carol's channel i'll be surprised if you haven't seen it before youtube ewe tube not actually youtube so thank you for watching massive thank you to all the sponsors 
Fingers crossed in the morning, my back is feeling a lot better.